Hey, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to build this parallax effect using Flutterflow. It uses the device accelerometer sensor to estimate how much the device is being tilted to a side and adjust the images accordingly. If you are curious, each one of these cards actually consists of a stack of two images, foreground and background, which creates this nice parallax effect. Ok, let's head over to Flutterflow and start building it. To get a head start, I have done two things. I have created a new Flutterflow project beforehand and I have defined a theme. That's why you can see I already have the correct background color over here. You can define them by going to settings and then select theme. Under the color section, you can add your light and dark mode colors. If you don't want the dark mode in your application, you can turn it off from here. We will keep the dark mode enabled for this app. Then I have defined a typography that we will be using. I have set the primary font family to Gabriella and the secondary font family to Roboto. You can customize the theme as per the look and feel of your app that you want to achieve. Ok, now let's head back to the UI builder. Let me switch to the widget review so that you can have a look at the widget structure as I start adding new widgets. And let's also open up the widget palette. Cool. I will be using a custom widget to build the parallax cards. But before that let's build a UI similar to what you saw in the final app. Select the app bar, remove the elevation and set it to 0. Remove the title from here. Now add an icon button to the leading of the app bar. Let's change this icon and set it to menu icon. Add one more icon, place it to the action section of the app bar. Change the icon to something like a person. We won't set any actions for now but you can define some action on this button. Like the menu button can be used for opening up a drawer. A person button can be used to navigate to a profile page maybe. Ok, let's add a text. Change this hello world to exclusive trips. Just for you. Let's use title one for that text style. The text seems too close to the top of the page so let's add some padding. Maybe 16 on the top and also 16 in the bottom. This will make sure the widget that we place below has some spacing from this text. You might have noticed in the final app there was a bottom nav bar. Let's add that to the UI as well. But first we need to create two pages. Let's call the first one to be favorites page. Remove the app bar and just add a text widget. Align the column main axis to the center and wrap the text widget with a row and set its main axis alignment to center as well. Now change this text to favorites and use title 2 as the text style. Now add one more page, call it search page. Again remove the app bar, drag and drop a text, center the column, wrap the text with a row and set its main axis alignment to center. Change this text style to title 2 and let's call it search. Now let's enable the nav bar in these pages. Click on the button present in the bottom right of the canvas. Enable show this page on the nav bar. And change the icon size to 32. Turn on the nav bar on the favorites page as well. Change the label to favorite. Icon let's select heart. And size to 32. Search page, icon would be search, icon size let's set to 32 and let's use this icon. 
Now head over to the nav settings. Let's change the navbar styling a bit. Change the navbar color to primary. And let's use the custom colors for the selected icon color and the unselected icon color. Okay, the basic UI is done. Now let's go to the custom functions from the left menu and select custom widgets tab. Click on create. Name this widget as parallax cards. We will define three parameters over here. The first one would be foreground images. Use the data type as image path and also check this is list checkbox. The second parameter would be background images. Again, the data type would be image path and check is list. Last one would be text and this data type would be string and also check this is list checkbox. Now click on this view boilerplate button to view the template code. Click copy to editor from here. For this widget, we need two dependencies. Click on this add dependency button. Now head over to pub.dev from another tab and search for the carousel slider package. Copy this package name along with its version and add it to the dependencies. If we need one more package, search for sensor plus. Copy and paste it as the second dependency. Let's add some import statement for the two packages. Next, define the required variables inside the widget. We need to initialize these variables inside the init state method. So here we have initialized the foreground images, background images and the text variable. To listen to the accelerometer changes, we will also initialize an accelerometer listener. Next add a dispose method to stop the accelerometer listener as the user navigates to a different page of the app or switches to a completely different app. Finally, we will update the build method. Here we have used the carousel slider widget, which will basically show the cards in a horizontal scrollable list. Each of these cards will have a stack containing of a background image, a foreground image. Uh, the values of the animated position widgets is where the magic occurs and they are mainly responsible for the parallax effect. Finally, there's a text displaying the country name on top. This completes our custom widget. Let's compile it. You will find a clonable link of this project in the description of this video. So you can take its help and skip typing the entire code by yourself. Now the compilation is done. Let's remove these predefined image URLs and we will add new ones here. And let's make this country name as Brazil. Increase the width to 400 maybe. Okay, the card looks pretty good here. Now let's click save. To use this custom widget on the home page, go to the components tab and drag and drop the parallax card widget onto the canvas. Set the width to infinity and the height to 600. I have already defined some local state variables we will set the values of the foreground images, background images and the text using those variables. Also make this widget expanded. Now let me give you a quick look at the local state variables. They can be accessed from here. I have some values defined in this foreground images list. Similarly, I have defined some values in the background images and also the text. If you are curious about how these images look, here's how a foreground image looks. The top part is transparent so the background image is visible. And here's how the background image looks. 
It's much wider which in turn also helps in improving the parallax effect. We would add one more text to this page. Other offers. We will set the theme style to subtitle 1 and give some padding 16 on top and 8 in the bottom. Ok now let's test out the app in the run mode of flutter flow. One thing to keep in mind to try out the parallax effect you need to run it on a device having access to the accelerometer sensor. So you won't be able to try out the parallax effect in test or run mode. Here's how the carousal looks. The parallax effect works best on Android and iOS devices. You can download the code from Flutterflow and run the app locally on your mobile device. And there you have it, parallax effect using accelerometer sensor built with Flutterflow. Hope you enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out the Flutterflow marketplace for some amazing custom widgets and actions shared by our community members.